Altius co-founder Muhammad Zubair was arrested on June 27th. He was given interim bail in one case, but soon a warrant was issued for his arrest in another case. Telangana journalist Tinmar Malana spent 73 days in jail. Marathi actor Ketki Chittale is facing 22 FIRs in Maharashtra. She was arrested and then re-arrested. What is common in all of these cases? A pattern of multiple FIRs being used to keep a person in jail for weeks, sometimes even months. This tactic has been used especially to target journalists and critics of the government. This has been used in Maharashtra, Kashmir, Telangana and many other places. Let me explain. So what's happening to Zubair is by no means new. Zubair's situation is such that unless he gets bail in each and every case against him, he is looking at spending many more days in jail. Yes, the police do have the power to register multiple FIRs, but what several states are doing is misusing the law to ensure that journalists remain in prison for long periods of time. Take for example the case of Telugu journalist Chintapandu Naveen, who is better known by his screen name Teenmar Malana. A right-wing sympathizer, in fact he had joined the BJP at one point, he is extremely popular on YouTube and is known for his political commentary and satire. He is also a vocal critic of Telangana Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao. Malana was first arrested in August last year in an extortion case. He ended up spending 73 days in prison after he was booked in 38 cases. He was released only after he secured bail in 32 cases. The Telangana High Court had closed six other cases. But several others have not been so fortunate. At least three Kashmiri journalists have been arrested, granted bail and then immediately re-arrested. Fahad Shah, the editor-in-chief of the Kashmir Wala, an independent news website, was arrested four times in 40 days. He's been in jail since February 4th this year, after he was first arrested by the Pulwama police for posting content that was allegedly anti-national on social media. Soon, the Kashmir police said that Fahad was wanted in other cases for glorifying terrorism, for spreading fake news and for inciting the general public to create law and order issues. Sounds familiar, right? Now, despite getting bailed in at least two other cases, Fahad remains in jail because he's been booked under the Public Safety Act, a stringent law that allows detention without framing of charges or trial up to two years. The Public Safety Act has been used to re-arrest two other Kashmiri journalists soon after they were granted bail in separate cases. One is Fahad's colleague Sajad Gul, who was arrested in January this year for posting a video of a family shouting anti-India slogans. He too is still in jail. The other is Asif Sultan, a journalist with a Kashmir narrator who has been in jail now for nearly four years. But it's not just journalists. Anyone who is a vocal critic of the government, union or state has had multiple FIRs foisted on them. And no, it's not just the BJP rule states that are abusing the law. Take the case of Marathi actor Ketiki Chittale, who is facing 22 FIRs in Maharashtra for sharing an allegedly offensive post against NCP's chief Sharad Pawar. 21 out of those 22 cases are for the post on Sharad Pawar. Ketiki was arrested on May 14 for this allegedly derogatory poem. But less than a week later, the Navi Mumbai police arrested her in a two-year-old case. So although she managed to get bail in the 2020 case first, she continued to remain in jail until she secured bail in the Sharad Pawar case on June 22nd. By then, she had already spent 39 days in jail. There's another similar case I want to talk about here, and that's the arrest and re-arrest of Gujarat MLA Jignesh Mevani. Mevani was arrested by the Assam police on April 21st for a tweet on Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He was granted bail a few days later, but the Assam police re-arrested him in a fresh case for allegedly assaulting a woman police officer. But a local court in Assam was quick to call out the police for abusing the law. While granting Jignesh Mevani bail on April 30th, the court pulled up the police for registering a false FIR. 
there are many other examples from across the country where the police have abused the law simply to keep an individual in jail. So why is this done? It's simple. The arrest is the punishment. Multiple FIRs are filed, especially in politically motivated cases. So although the person may be acquitted eventually, the state is able to punish its critic with long incarcerations even before a judgment is pronounced. But have courts stepped in to prevent such abuse? Yes and no. There are guidelines issued by the Supreme Court with regard to arrests, like the 2014 Arnesh Kumar judgment where the court directed all state governments to issue instructions to police officers not to arrest individuals automatically when the offence is punishable with less than seven years imprisonment. In Malala's case, the Telangana High Court pulled up the state police, calling the registration of multiple FIRs vindictive. It not only ordered the DGP to supervise the investigation, but it also directed the state not to register multiple FIRs if it was based on the same allegation. In Ketaki's case too, a court in Thane played its part in ensuring her release by pulling up the Mumbai police for violating Supreme Court guidelines. It was only then that the then Uddhav Thakre-led Maharashtra government promised not to arrest her in 21 out of the 22 FIRs against her. But there have been many cases where the judicial process has dragged out, with individuals having to move court multiple times to be released. What happens in Zubair's case remains to be seen. But for now, the journalist will remain in jail until he gets bail in each of the cases he is facing. I just want to quickly remind you that the News Minute has launched two new YouTube channels, the News Minute Malayalam and the News Minute Tamil. Go and check it out and subscribe to these channels. Also, if you value the journalism that we do here at the News Minute, do become a member. The link is in the description. As always, if you've liked this video, do hit the like button and share this video with your friends.